Hey guys, welcome to F me. What month favorites is April. this? April. April. Hey guys, welcome to April favorites. I have a very special guest, Fleur from Fleur Hello. of Course. <laughs> we have done this once before, like two years ago. Yeah. It's really fun as well. Like I love doing it favorites with another person. I know, it me too. So I actually like look through your stash and I'm like, huh. So we did this once before. I actually rewatched that video the other night. Oh, yeah. Wise. It was a long time ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've been, oh, friends. Wow. <laughs> we've been <laughs> friends for a really long time now. Time does fly. We each have six beauty favorites, and then we're going to be doing some random kind of body care, skincare favorites over on Fleur's channel, so you'll need to go and check that out. I will link everything you need to know below. I will also be linking her channel, and if you are not subscribed, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Go and subscribe because she's amazing and always has the best <laughs> recommendations. It makes me blush. And you're the guest, so you go first. First thing I have is a lipstick. It's from MAC. I love MAC lipsticks, but I feel like I deviate away from them on a regular basis and then kind of come back. This is a color called Syrup. Beautiful. And it is really beautiful. I'm wearing it to Nat. Actually, no, I'm not no. wearing it now. I was wearing it. <laughs> I, I just like, filmed wait, another video. <laughs> no, I was wearing it earlier, and then I just filmed a video with Nikki and put red lipstick on. But I was wearing it earlier, and you saw it earlier. It's, pretty. it's kind of one of those colors that's like a pinky, rosy color, but it has that mauve. It, like, instead of using your regular, your looks but better kind of color, mm -hmm. it's just a different way to kind of mix it up. I like it. I really, really love it. And it's a luster finish, but it's not like. I love sure. the way like MAC lipsticks smell too. It smells like, when you have a new one, oh, it's so good. There's just something about when they're new, they mm -hmm. smell so strong. My first favorite is something that it's weird. I have had this in my drawer since December and I just now started using it every day. Like I was kind of using it and then all of a sudden I'm like, I want to just like slather this all over my body. <laughs> I want to like just everywhere head to toe. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. Now, everybody raves about the powder. I have the powder as well, but this guy right here, if you apply this with a beauty blender dampened, like you don't even need to just go on the high points. Like I will literally put this even on my forehead. I know that sounds crazy, let me see. but it is this just- This amazing rave is making me be like, I need it. It Everyone has talks real about this. crushed pearl in here, and it just gives your skin this healthy, luminous, just like your skin had a just big drink of water, everything's hydrated. Oh, I mean, like right now, hopefully I'm looking kind of hydrated because my skin is awful at the moment. I just got back from Coachella and I feel like it's just like parched it's and like, perfect oh, but it's this. Yeah. It's so good. I need to pick that up. Me I've too. heard so many people rave about that as well. It's amazing. My next one is a liquid eyeliner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'd heard lots about this and I'd never tried it. And I got it a little while ago. I tried it. was like, yeah, it's really good. But actually I wore this to the first day of Coachella or the second day, I can't remember if it was the first day or the second day, we will merge into one, and it stayed all day, true to the name. <laughs> Seriously, a whole day of extreme, extreme heat, heat, extreme heat, and at the end of the day everyone was like, oh my god, your eyeliner, like the rest of my makeup is like gone, but my eyeliner was like still, still perfect. Your eyeliner really, really was good. looking good. And it's like easy to draw on too, and yes. it's really black. Yeah, it's I like really that nice. one. Probably won't be able to get that off my hand now. Whoops. Yeah, you're stuck with that for the rest of the night. <laughs> I did a, a whole hot or not on these, but I have to just like re-emphasize how much I love California Roll from Wet n Wild. The name is hilarious. I just, I can't get enough of these orange shades over here. In the crease, these are beautiful. They last on the lid so incredibly well. This is like the cheapest makeup of life and it's what I packed with me to Coachella. Everyone's like, oh, what's in your crease? What did you wear to have it last all day? I wore this and I'm in love. The next one I've actually had as a favorite before, but considering this was on your channel mm -hmm. and I have a limited amount of products with me that I brought to LA, I'm gonna put it in again. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer and I really like this. It doesn't have like insane heavy coverage, but it just does the job nicely and it leaves my skin feeling nice and moisturized and not cakey or dry. You never look cakey. Or, well, ever. That's <laughs> not just this, but I just think it, it's really nice. Like it stays on, but it's it's like that perfect balance of like looking natural and it's nice still you and not heavy, but it still gives you something. I really like it a lot and it's affordable because it's from Maria. Um, sense. You need to pick this up before you go home. Do you have Cover okay. FX over in the UK? I think we do, but I don't know where to get it from. I think like select places. This stuff is the most incredible makeup. 
I love it so much. I'm so hooked on it. I did a first impressions and you guys kind of saw me through my day running errands. You guys got to see really how natural and incredible this looked close up. This is a custom cover drop and you literally just need like a drop or four depending on the kind of coverage you want and you can mix it in with anything, an oil, a serum. My favorite still is this primer just because it's like really balmy and it kind of makes the best. Wait, so this has high coverage and it turns Yeah, I want to show, it's like freaking weird. It turns them I can't, into I'm going to do this and like ruin my hands right now, but you got to see this. It's will like blow your mind. So it's like a really heavy foundation basically. One, two, three. And then you just go like that. And it turns it into... It's like the best foundation ever. Ever. It does not look like very heavy makeup-y, but if you want to cover a certain area, you can just take a straight drop and kind of stipple it on that area. And it's just, it's the best stuff ever invented. Wow. I am a slave to this product. <laughs> the next thing I have is a new discovery for me, and this is from a brand you actually can't get in the States. I'm going to have to bring you one of these next time I come Ooh. over. So it's called Seventeen. It's totally smashed. It got smashed on the way back from Coachella. And that is the reason, the reason why these always smash. Don't you hate that? Is because they're such a soft formula and like in the shop you can tell they like half of them are smashed already. But anyway, it's called Rose Quartz and it's just the most mm. beautiful. It's almost like that lilac steel color, but the texture of it, touch it, touch is insane. It. It's like super, super soft. And it's wow. just a really pretty, kind of the sexy, like color. It's like a smoky, taupey lilac and I really like it super cheap it's like three pounds 89 so if you are in the uk and you want to smash i need that i need i will okay. bring this for you next time i come that's gorgeous it is pretty isn't it very wearable good dress it up dress it down all that jazz it just got super it, bright yeah ah! we're having a few lighting issues <laughs> it's fine natural we're, we're lighting it's tricky get through it uh okay i have the waterproof five-in-one microfiber cream gel stain from it cosmetics this is a fiber brow pomade i'm wearing it right now ever since i got it i've just been loving this i love the, like the look of you've like <laughs> dug like, right in everywhere like, ah. uh, and i also use it with their brush which i've kind of destroyed today i need to clean it but it has these little it's like a a little picket fence it's like divoted can you oh, see yeah. Oh, yeah. and you can make more natural brush strokes that way and I just have been loving this it's my favorite brow pomade Where's that it I've ever tried it cosmetics okay. and this is just in universal taupe I have gone like eyeshadow crazy this month so the next thing I have is also eyeshadows this is a palette from NARS it's not new anymore it's the and god created woman palette it's part of a set that you can get at Sephora they have a primer and a brush with it but I just love these colours. I've been using them pretty much every day since I bought it. And they're just so useful. You can even use, like, I sometimes even use that one in my brows. Like, really? Yeah. This huh. kind of colour. I'm, like, literally it's, staring at it like, man. It's like, it's like mixing and up. And it's so compact. It's so compact and I travel a lot, so it's perfect. I love NARS. Great. So... I have another highlighter. I know. It's kind of crazy. I'm like <laughs> all glow about crazy. the glow right now. But this one is a bronzing highlighter. It's technically a blush, but I mean, come on. This is not a blush color. Um, it's very brown, bronzy color. It's called Craving. This is a dual intensity blush from NARS. And what I like about this is that you can take a brush, spray it with some MAC Fix Plus or a setting spray, hit the high points, but also go on your eyes, down the bridge of the nose. It's just like quick glow makeup if you're not going to be doing a full face. You know, skip the foundation, skip everything else, just add nice little glow to your skin, maybe some gloss mascara, and you're done. But I love using this wet, not dry. So my next product is a real kind of splurge item, and I have to say... Jealous. I actually did get sent this, but since I have been using it, I'm like absolutely in love with it. I'm using it all the time. This is from Tom Ford, and it's part of their new spring summer collection. I'm not actually so sure cute. on the color on what the colorway is called. It just says Iron Cheek Compact Summer 15, but the packaging is gorgeous for a start. It's like flat and like mm -hmm. this. My last item is actually a fail item. I just wanted to kind of sneak it in because it's not often that I have a product that I try and right away I'm like, ooh, no, that's not going to work out. And this was a 100 point perk from Sephora. I had no idea that the wand was like this. A weapon. It really is like a weapon. I mean, you put it on and it's just, it's a nightmare, literally. And it just makes your lashes all kind of clump together. And the idea of having this kind of tip right here at the end where things, 
I actually don't really what even understand does it do? the design. Do you? Because why do you need more on the inside? I don't know. I mean, maybe for like lower lashes like this? Yeah. Maybe? But then when you go like this, you get it like all clumpy towards the inner corner of your eye, which is not what you want. It's not good. It's not what you we want. We don't like you, immortal no, lash. We don't like you, immortal <laughs> lash. Uh, so that was a, a dud product. Let's leave this on a really negative note. <laughs> <laughs> so those were 11 favorites. 11 actually is my lucky number. So I'm, is okay. It? I'm okay with that. 11 favorites, one fail product, and we are going to be doing more favorites over on Fleur's channel. So go and watch that right now, and I hope you're having an excellent day. See you then. We'll see you there. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye guys. Mwah.